Hello guys and welcome to a huge layout update. On the right is my bed. Talked about that in my last video, just a little bit. So I have my piers set up to elevate the track. That I'm gonna turn this off. Elevate the track. I've had these for a while now, just haven't had the space to set them up until a little bit ago. And I got new cars. I got that car. I will actually get up and show you what I got. This BNSF locomotive GP40 was actually a Bachman locomotive. DCC on board came with a controller like that. And then I got these oh, a GP40. And a Santa Fe FTA, the cars that came with it. Western Maryland, a CSX, and an 18SF caboose. And then just recently, if you have seen my video, my most recent video, I purchased this. My grandma, gr grandpa took me shopping, and then I also bought three new cars. Another a CSX gondola. An Amtrak, uh, just got it. An Amtrak flat car with like a little area on it for people to go in, and then a tank for oil or something. I fed that, and then I got this DuPont anhydrous ammonia, and then. My uncle, I got this car, this car, those two are both 40 foot, and then this 50 foot. So, let's actually get started. But this is kind of an update, and then I'm actually going to run a train. And I just got finished with this, like, five minutes ago, but... I have fully functional yard for my locomotives. Let's see, you got a left hand turnout. The locomotives can back in, except for the FTA. That one will drive straight in because when it's in a consist or by itself, it's going backwards. But it's most likely in a consist at all times. And then you have another left hand turnout that came with the two Santa Fe locomotives. Need it this way so we can have the Ather and BNSF come through. And then on the end, we have the right hand turnout. It goes over to the GP40. So let's get this power to the layout. And you will hear that noise from the Ather. And if you didn't see my last video, you will know that it is not DCC equipped. It is DCC quick plug equipped. So there's a piece on the top that comes off for you to put DC, a DCC decoder. And it's just that piece right there with the fan. <laughs> if you got this locomotive, if you have this locomotive and you were wondering. But it's actually get it going get across those points so in reverse what the heck okay I had to switch on couple with these Hmm. And just to think, this one little engine can carry, it can pull one. Oh, that's not good. We also lost some freight. Sorry, I dropped the camera for a second. Okay. But this locomotive can carry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13 cars on its own. Now, without the inclines, without the incline in the track, the elevation in the track, it would go perfectly fine. But, I don't know what went wrong there. Probably you have to run a consist. So let's put her in reverse. And then bring out the Bachman. Okay, now let's go to number three. Bring out this locomotive. Okay, flip that back. Throw it in reverse. Reverse. Coupled. Yep. And then we'll bring the Athens back. And there we go. We have them coupled. And then we'll put it. So now we've got the train running at a pretty smooth speed, and didn't go so well. I'm gonna have to speed it up next time, but that's the layout update, and I will see you guys next time.